What is going on everybody, Maximus Keys here, back with a brand new episode of Genre Evolution, episode 6, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll tell you the truth, we've come a long way since episode 1, which you can also check out on this channel, as well as other videos of my band, KOM. So please feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, send this video to anybody that you know, and please check out some more videos on this channel, such as last week's episode, which is in the link in the description. Let's get started. So it took me a while to really figure out what I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, episode 6 of John Revolution. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And pretty much the thought that's been soaring in my mind for probably one of the most longest times, you know, just for a while, is me sitting down and wondering, is the Midwest given enough acknowledgement in music? Now, hold your horses if you're probably thinking something otherwise. When I say enough acknowledgement, what I'm pretty much saying is that certain places in the Midwest are given acknowledgement, but there are other places in the Midwest that don't get much acknowledgement as much as this place over here or this place over there. Or you'll have people from places in the Midwest who don't get acknowledgement at all or just don't get enough acknowledgement. And me being from the Midwest, Indianapolis, Indiana, I've always wondered why. I'll explain. So pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody that is looking at this video has heard of the word Motown or Motown Records. And a lot of us have probably heard of, of course, the Jackson 5, the Supremes, Smokey Robinson, the Spinners, the Temptations, pretty much the works. At the time, Motown was ran in Detroit. And Detroit is, of course, in the Midwest. And pretty much in Detroit, there's like a whole line of different artists that got signed to Motown or even left Motown to do bigger and better things. Then you've got places in Ohio where people like the Ohio Players, Heat Wave, Zap, James Gang. You got bands from Chicago, such as Chicago, Earth, Wind & Fire, Styx, Staple Singers, Twista, just for some few examples. But wait a minute, uh, what about Indiana? What about underground legends from Detroit? And before I continue, I just want to make sure that I mention this before anything. Yes, the Jackson 5 came from Gary, Indiana. But me being a person from the Midwest and Indiana as a whole, you start to get a little bit irritated when you keep hearing about the Jackson 5 coming from Gary, Indiana. I remember one time I made a comment about how the Midwest as a whole does not have too many shining stars to represent the Midwest or enough people who are acknowledged in the Midwest. But then the person said to me, oh, what about the Jackson 5? Well, I'm, is that it? Which leads me to this claim. There's like four different standards of artists that a lot of people mention all the time. You have the overly mentioned artists. You have artists that are mentioned once every blue moon. You have artists that just plain old don't get mentioned enough. Then you've got artists that people just don't know about or just don't mention at all. The overly mentioned artist that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about is Eminem. He's mentioned upside down, he's mentioned right side up, he's mentioned from side to side and everywhere. As well as the Jackson 5, I would consider them overly mentioned sometimes. Then you got the other Midwest artist who is mentioned once every blue moon, such as Tech 9 Then you've got artists that just aren't mentioned enough, such as The Barge, Switch, Insane Clown Posse, Twisted, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Then you've got artists that nobody mentions at all, such as Esham. What you were saying, you're slipping, you're up the lifestyle, fetch cool and never wild. Awesome Dre. Spell off. It ain't a man in a land I won't tell off or beat down to the concrete ground in the street right here in Motown. My town, Detroit murderers. Yes, the city's quite scurrilous. The ROC. See the thing was, I had to roll you. Grab the first burner. I'm about to fall through. And bodies gonna go. I swear right with me. Blazing ROC makes situations sticky. Frigid Pink. Oh, 
and it can be just very annoying sometimes. In a lot of different places, it's easy to find different shining stars coming from places like Tennessee, Texas, Florida, even Atlanta. And I'll be honest with you, it's almost sad. <laughs> I, and, and I don't mean to chuckle, you know, or laugh anything, but it's almost sad. Like when I really do really, really genuinely think about it, there's not too many rising stars or shining stars who represents the Midwest or let alone Indiana very much. Now, don't get me wrong. Me and my band KOM, we're going to be representing for Indiana because, you know, we come from the Midwest. And sometimes, or, or most of the time, I really do wish that sometimes that all of us could really have somewhat the same industrial-like mindset, kind of like the East Coast, or more cultured in a way like the West Coast. Now, me personally, I love the East Coast to death. It's just that sometimes I wish that a lot of us could really have the same industrial mindset as the East Coast of how they work hard or as sort of like Atlanta, how they work hard. And I believe a lot of us can get there one day and we need to start doing it now. Thank you to all of you who have watched this whole entire video. Please like, subscribe, favorite, check out some more episodes and some videos of my band KOM or more episodes of Genre Evolution. And everyone, please be safe because this whole coronavirus situation is getting out of hand, it's out of control, uh, it's crazy, it's corrupt, it's insane. Uh, everyone, please make sure to wash your hands, uh, hand sanitizer, make sure to lotion yourself up, anything that is involved with sanitization. Have a great rest of your day and peace to all of you.